Good morning! I come to you from London. <laughs> I can't believe we've been back for how long now, Alex? Has it been like two, two weeks? Yeah, two weeks. And I haven't had a chance to vlog as much as I wanted to because I am determined to finish this book. And although um, the writing part is finished, as you guys know, I mentioned that in the previous vlogs, there's still so much work that has to do with editing and it's like such tedious work i tell alex it's almost like sitting in front of piles and piles of rice and trying to find little trying to find little black dots or like little stones or like anything like that small inside of this pot full of normal rice <laughs> so basically that's what editing feels like so i'm you know going through all the little spacing and the, like the little edits like changing the small things and and errors and commas and all these like little things that matter a lot still so i've been going at a pace of a turtle because it requires you to go really slow and i'm sure there's still going to be some things that will be left behind but at this point i just want to finish it and let it out and i'm almost there my goal is to finish it this weekend that's why i thought you know i would i would vlog it because to me it's like such great memories that i would would like to document as well um, today's a Friday it's a good Friday we're here in the office we came quite early did some work and because it's so sunny I'm gonna turn the camera around to show you how blue the sky is because it's so sunny and beautiful I've been begging Alex to go to the park I just need to like get away from the computer and like staring into the screen um, for hours and hours at a time and just look at some nature so we're gonna go to Richmond Park which is my absolute favorite park here in London because they have wild deer running around <laughs> everywhere. So I'm so excited. We're gonna go for a few, few hours and then later on we're gonna come back and continue working. Look at how pretty these flowers are. Wow. I wanted to show you guys my little babies as I call them. If you follow me on Snapchat, you'll see, you've seen them there already. So that one is called Fuzzy, and they're getting some sun because they need a lot of sun. This is Orky, and Orky's going to have some flowers. And these, I haven't really, I, I call them twins because they're kind of the same. And this one over here, I don't really have a name for you yet. I'm going to think of something. If you guys have any suggestions, leave it down below. But um, aren't they cute? We are here. So amazing. Look how cool this is because you can actually see London right there. I'm gonna try to zoom in for you guys. Do you see it? Do you see it? Do you see it? <laughs> ah, now you see it. Isn't that crazy? Wow. Can you go further? No, this is it. Oh, wait, I can. Look at that. That's London right there. And my finger. <laughs> Wait, these are not real. Where are we going? We're gonna find it. Check out the view. See, there's not a lot of places like this in London where you have a view like that that you can see so far ahead of you. Here they are. I'm trying to go really slow so I don't scare them off. Hi, Bambies. Hi, little friends. Look at that guy napping. Hi. Hi, my beautiful friends. Hello. Hello. This is so cool. It's amazing to see them like that in the wild. That's how all animals should be. Check them out. Wow. 
I think he's pouring like a cat. What's <laughs> 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 I don't know. He's so cute. This guy's my favorite. See, he's pouring. Can you hear it? Hi. Hi, beautiful. Bye, Bambi. I'll come back soon. I promise. With me, darling, sway. Just move with me, darling, sway. Hi, cutie. Hey. It's a vicious attack dog. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Okay, so be careful. Hi. He looks like it. We came to have lunch at one of our favorite, cutest, most romantic little um, nursery. I guess it's, a cafe. it's like a cafe that's inside of a beautiful nursery. So there's lots of pots with flowers and plants. And this is what I'm having. It's actually a barley risotto. I haven't had barley in years because they didn't have anything that was um, vegetarian and gluten free. And then a cabbage salad. A hot apple cider, I think, and we got a gluten free chocolate cake. <laughs> Yummy! This place is super romantic, especially in the summer where everything here is green. So it's a great date place. Just giving you some tips. Or even if you're visiting London as a tourist, I definitely recommend if it's good weather to make a trip over here because it's gonna be worth it. In the evening it's also yeah, really it's nice. Yeah, it's so yeah. charming. Sunset. They have like little lights everywhere. It's amazing. Sway, just move with me, darling. Sway, just move. So we're back at the office now, I'm back at editing the book here, Alex is in the other room having a call. So focus time, focus, editing and not giving up <laughs> until I finish. <laughs> working and now we're heading up we're actually gonna bike that's why we're dressed so warm we're gonna bike to um, Chelsea Chelsea to go watch my big fat Greek wedding too I'm so excited to see it because the first one was amazing if you guys watched it you know what I'm talking about if you're from southern parts of the world like South Italy Greece Turkey Azerbaijan not, not from Russia I don't get yeah it. you'll relate to the movie have you have I relate you? I relate the other side the quiet side <laughs> the calm side so yeah we're just gonna bike now and hopefully we'll make it oh, on run. time oh my god run! we can make it Good morning! It's a beautiful Saturday morning. Gloomy, yet still beautiful. <laughs> Perfect day to get some work done. So Alex here and I are back in the office and I'm working on the book. What's new? The goal today actually is to finish it. Wow, I know it's, a, it's very optimistic right now. Can you tell me? That's very ambitious. Yeah, it's very, no, ambitious. It's very ambitious. Can you tell me how many pages I have, please? Um, you have... It's very ambitious. How many pages? I have? Even if I don't, if I have to work through the night, I have to finish it today. I cannot. Thirty-six do it. pages. Thirty-six pages. Full, but that's a lot of pages. It's work. That's a lot of pages. Like I said, I'm going at a very slow pace because you kind of have to with these kind of edits. 
but that's the goal. We'll see how far I can get. <laughs> All right. Ambitious. I'm gonna go now. Back to editing. Hi guys, many hours later, I'm still here, but I am happy to report that I finished editing the second edit of the book. It doesn't even feel real saying this right now because I've been working on this for like on the second edit. I've been working ever since we came back to London, so it's been almost a month, but it's finished. Oh my god, it's real! Yay! I'm so happy right now. It's like dark outside and Alex has left. I've been sitting here for like, I don't know, more than eight hours probably. But I'm just so happy right now. I can't even tell you. So the next step, actually something that Alex will do. Actually, I need one more illustration for the book. So I'm going to do that next week. And then Alex will sort of make it nice and clean. Like he'll put it all together and design it well with the illustrations and see if there's anything missing in terms of design aspect of the book. And then we are good to go. <sighs> Feels amazing, really. Like I could cry right now. I just bought some groceries and headed home to cook. Ooh, I just got home, got some groceries and gonna make some dinner. Just waiting for Alex to get home. Hopefully he'll help me with groceries. But I was gonna make okra dish tonight. And sadly, oh, I think Alex is here. <laughs> Hello. Hello. <laughs> And sadly, Whole Foods was out of okra oh. again. I'm so heartbroken. I really felt like having okra today. Me too. Mm. So instead, yeah, we're gonna make bok choy. yeah, we're gonna make bok choy, some basmati rice, and um, I think like a little baby class. All right, time to cook. It's late. Mixing rice with some Indian spices, so it smells delicious in here. So much goodness in here, it's all at the bottom. I have avocado, cilantro, uh, hearts of palm, cucumber, yum. And I'm just gonna add olive oil and lemon juice as a dressing, it's my favorite. Here we have some bok choy and I'm gonna just splash a little bit of sesame oil right before it's done. It just adds a really nice flavor. Dinner is served. We have a salad here, some hummus, carrots, beautiful flowers, Alex. <laughs> All right, time to eat and relax. It's Sunday morning and Alex and I are making crepes. This is our little ritual, but look how good this one came out. These are so perfect. We make them with um, rice and quinoa flour. If you guys want to see it, let me know. I'll do it in the, I'll show you guys in the next what I eat on a day video. The detailed recipe. Alex is a pro. He, I make the, yeah, I make the, the batter and then he flips them in the pan because he's a master <laughs> of that. Flipping master. <laughs> Beautiful. Alright, so breakfast is ready. <laughs> I almost forgot to vlog this. <laughs> Alex is like, are you gonna vlog this or are you just gonna eat it? I'm like, alright. Quickly show you what this looks like. Incredible. I don't want to show you what I look like because um, I just washed my hair and I don't want it to dry completely so I just did something on top of my head but yeah I'm gonna go back to eating now and then we're gonna head to the office and film a really exciting video about to start filming um, a very exciting and a bit of a serious video I guess but I'll try not to make it too serious I am gonna be sharing in today's talking video um, how I overcame depression and anxiety it's not something I talked about in depth in any of my videos because yeah it's a very personal and sensitive top subject but I feel like I'm ready today's the day 
Um, I feel like the story can help a lot of people, so I'm just pumping myself up right now. Alex is kind enough to film me. You guys, are you, uh, are you ready, Alex? Yeah, ready. Let's do this. So we just fil finished filming and doing a bit of work and heading to have lunch finally. It's like 4.30 p.m. already. Well, it's 3.30 because we just changed oh, yeah, the time. They changed the time today. But um, yeah, it's a bit cold today. And Alex was like, take Uber and I'll bike to the lunch place. Which yeah, usually I do that sometimes. When the weather isn't so good, I'll race Mimi to the place. But I'm gonna risk and go on the bike yeah, even though it might rain because it's been raining today like seven times it rains then the sun comes out then it rains again then the sun comes out it's crazy London weather yeah. that we love and embrace Finally, lunch is here. So Alex and I are just back in the office. We were gonna go home, but then we decided that it's better to do some work now. So that tomorrow morning, it's not as overwhelming because tomorrow is Monday and we want to start it fresh. Yeah. So I'm just waiting. And, and tomorrow's a holiday, by the way. Oh, yeah. What's tomorrow? Good Monday? Good, <laughs> Good Monday? <laughs> I don't know. I guess it's just continuation of the Easter holidays. Which and they're is, so long. Which is very, very quiet here in London. It's like nobody's left here in the city. The streets are literally like ghost town. But we don't mind. It's nice and peaceful here in the office. So we're getting a lot of work done. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we just got home. Gonna rest a little bit and then cook dinner. <laughs> Alex is very relaxed there in the corner. But I was just thinking to myself, like, what did I actually get to film this weekend? Um, and I realized that most of it was work. <laughs> I don't know. It just, I think vlogging also makes me reflect more on life. Um, vlogging more like in real life, not just when we're traveling. And I realized like that that is the truth about my life. 95% well our lives, 95% of what we do <laughs> involves our work. But another truth about our life is that it doesn't feel like work because we love what we do. So like it's hard for me to stop working or not think about work because I love everything I do and to me it's truly like why I'm here. <laughs> Um, so yeah, I guess that's what I wanted to mention and I think um, partly why we didn't share as much of the working or like what we do day to day before is because we thought like who would want to see us working? Like who wants to see people sitting in the office doing their work? But many of you actually um, insisted on seeing what is it that we do day to day. So I started sharing it more and more and a lot of you love seeing that part. Uh, let me know if you do. I mean, if you want to see more of it, I'll see. I'll show. I mean, that, that is about it. You saw it this weekend. Um, but um, yeah, that is that is it. That is that is our life. I love it. <laughs> I love it too. I mean, it's it's truly what makes up most of what we do every single day. But to us, that's our life. It's this is it. <laughs> yep. Anything to say? I love it. That's it. <laughs> Alright guys, just gonna rest a little bit now. And then I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!